an empty space with a silent teeth. Souls in grief. Shadow died refusing to sing, but hope still flickers it beckon bright to guide us home through that it's night. But face the light. You're welcome to this YouTube channel. My name is Femi Adebile Joshua. The movie you're about to see, The Awakening. Hi. Is a movie that will bless your life. Is a movie that is centered on breaking from serious addictions. It's a movie that will reawaken your spiritual experience. It's a movie that will set your heart on fire. Sit down, relax as you watch this movie. We beg you, like this movie so that other people will be able to see it. Subscribe to this channel. Even while I'm speaking, share this video. Like, share it right now. You can share it and come back and watch it right now. Thank you very much. God bless you. Lethal Affair on the 14th of April. When did you start monitoring? The very day we were joined together on the altar as a man and wife. There is a serious issue going on in my house. I don't understand. Brother Richard, are you cheating on your wife? Who is Chalanda? Chalanda? Is she the woman that appeared to me in my room? And what is her relationship with you? And how come you are eating when I'm starving? Dear, you better speak up now because it's so obvious that you need urgent help. Are you sure you are not hallucinating? I promise, Brother Richard. That is very strange. Are oh, you turning the chairs upside down? Just watch me now. Watch me. I'm just arranging your place to make it beautiful. You will also go down to the room. Move your shirts and your trousers and start speaking any death. Whoever says I am under the influence of a spirit will not know peace. You have just six hours. Some people believe that their strength and capacity alone is enough for them to be free from any form of addiction. Oh, they believe that they, 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 they have the manpower to be free from every form of sin, addictions that has held them bound for several years. Shock you that all these sin addictions whatsoever are beyond what your strength or your capacity alone can do. There was a time I wrote, I wrote in a book, I, I, I talked about four categories of people. When it comes to determination and God, the first set of people don't believe in God and they don't even have determination to be free from such addictions or sin. Or the second set of people believe only in the determination. They believe only in their capacity and strength, but they never believe in God's capacity. The third set of people are those people that just have the zeal of God. They believed that God alone would take the responsibility of their, of their freedom from addictions and sin. I have lost more than just my heart. I have lost my way.
description when I did my thorough investigation about your personality. This is how I got your full information. Hmm. Okay. After several attempts, thank God you are here. So, how can I help you? After listening to series of your sermons and messages, I should be saved and be delivered. But my life keeps drowning. Then I concluded that what I need is more than listening. I need an encounter. <laughs> so what is the problem? I've lost my high. I've lost my way. Can you remove your glasses? If anything had happened to my eyes, it would have been better. <laughs> ah, guys. My, my money go. Oh, I better give you the transfer. I should not you. How much be your money? Okay, that's it. About my money. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we'll see that day. No run now, she go tear you slap. She go tear you slap. They do par par, you see, they don't you don't par. Don't be fine, but they don't use no but follow our thoughts. Later, come on. It's not strategy. I give you five key. Five key. If you go collect that number, I will give you five key. Oh, you go tell you slap. Hey, fine girl. Hi. Sorry, can I help you minutes of your time? Maybe we can talk there. Ah, uh -huh. thank you. This way. You see, I couldn't err, but to notice your smile across the squad, it's just like a ray of sunshine. I, I must confess. My bad. Can I have the honor of knowing your name? Um, well, thanks for the compliment. I'm Florence. Um, nice to meet you. Uh -huh. thanks for the compliments. I'm Florence. Nice to meet you. It sounds good and you sound great. Your eyes are like sparkling galaxies. I would love to know you better, sincerely. They're just too funny. Oh, well, I live in this area, so I guess you are. Well, let me say you guess wrong. Oh. <laughs> I'm joking. You are right. I live around here. I knew you were kidding, right? <laughs> <laughs> what does it feel like to be the most beautiful girl on earth? <laughs> oh, Jesus. That must be a joke, right? Mm -mm. Like, you're just choking since. Do you think someone old as men would be lying? Ha. Sincerely, I must be in a museum because seeing you is just like work of art. <laughs> you see, when God was making you, I think he was just busy showing off. <laughs> you see, I don't normally do this, but I will regret it if I don't ask for your number. If you don't mind, can you share it with me? Okay, uh -huh. no problem. Thank you. Oh, wow, Angel, Angel Marvian. <laughs> I'm Florence. Florence. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time, baby. You're welcome. Uh -huh. Bye. Bye. <laughs> you see, I was about saying something sweet about you, but when I saw you, I became speechless. <laughs> you speechless? You that I know. I know ways flies in your head like that of a bird, so how come you are speechless? Do you think I'm joking? It's because you are sweeter than any word in this world. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but tell me, how do you get to know all these things? Wait, do you think I cram lies? I see what I see. I was only stating the obvious. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay.
okay all right now come and tell me how much do you love me hmm the love i have for you has no bound but but what florence i am not ready for any relationship now <laughs> oh jesus you are about to crack another joke right oh tell me you are joking no now how can you tell me you are not ready do I look like a comedian? I am serious. Oh, please don't tell me you're not going to date me. No, now. After you have gotten all you wanted. Florence, I know you understand that we have a lot of tax ahead of us. We have to remain focused, so I'm not ready for any relationship now. <laughs> please don't tell me that. You cheated me. After when I thought I've seen somebody that I want to get settled with. Well, I'm not disappointed, so... Come, calm down, Florence. I don't mean to break your heart, but I think you should understand me better. But my heart is broken already, even before I met you. So, no more story. Pay for my service. <laughs> Pay for my service. Pay for my service. Do you have a map? Because I'm already lost in your eyes. I will be lost forever. <laughs> Mr. Man, please pay my money. I'm getting it, please. Florence. You know, I couldn't help but notice you from afar. And when I saw you, I'm convinced beyond any doubt because you are the missing piece to my day. Well, my name is John. Can I have the privilege of knowing your name? My name is Cynthia. Nice to meet you. Oh, my name is Cynthia. Nice to meet you. You are looking good and you are Thank looking you. gorgeous. Thank so, you know, you. Um, are you a magician? A magician? <laughs> yeah, because anytime I look at you, everyone else disappears. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, wake up from your dream. Everyone is passing by. Where are they? I can't see anyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm talking to a blind man. Yes, because your beauty blindfolded me. You see, this blind man needs your help. <laughs> Come on, speak up. I would love to help. <laughs> but sincerely, Cynthia, you've already made my day special because today looks so amazing. You know what? I've lost my number. Can you help me with yours? Thank you. Ah, uh, I will save it to it. Miss Beauty, <laughs> you know what? My doctor said I lack vitamin U. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, blind man, let your eyes be open to see how beautiful nature is. Come on, with your own beauty, I'm satisfied. <laughs> Please, I want you to do something for me. Okay. Can you hold my arms so that I can tell the whole world that I've touched an angel? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god thank you very much i really appreciate cynthia you are looking so amazing thank, thank you. you all right see Please you next time yeah. thank you don't worry i will, I will call okay, this night okay i'll be expecting your phone yeah uh -huh. guys don't jump don't jump <laughs> did we get producer <laughs> You don't call it that way again. Check out. Ah, oh just, just scatter that game. Oh you can't do, you can't do, you can't do. You get formula. Ah! You can't do you like go. this. I get the code. Now you fire, you go, go. I, last, last. No worry. No if you worry. come, may I know. Where do you come? Hmm? Do Which some time? Eh? Don't worry. Maybe this night or tomorrow. Ah. <laughs> bro, bad guy. Bro, bad guy. Oh, yeah, let's go. Let's hey, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow, this you? Yeah. Ha, you look so beautiful. I love this Thank picture you. personally. I love it. Uh -huh. mm. See your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> you know, John, I've been thinking lately about relationship. I know I've had my own fair share of boyfriends. Uh -huh. I've been wondering what it feels to be in a committed boyfriend girlfriend kind of thing. Uh -huh. Sincerely, I must appreciate your honesty. Um, you telling me this uh, make me to feel and know that you are an incredible person. But sincerely, at this point, I have to confess to you. I am not ready for any kind of 
commitment. Yeah. Oh, I see. I only expecting this kind of reply from you, though. Well, um, I hope this doesn't change how you feel about the time we had together. But please, just have this. What's this? I didn't want you to feel like our, our time that we had together was just a waste. Just consider that as a token of my appreciation. Well, John, you are a good guy and I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> Thank you for your sincerity. And um, you know what? I don't even know what happened to my eyes. Can you need to check it too? I can't take them off from you. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say God bless you, but I think he has already done that. <laughs> I can see the beauty all over you from there to go. <laughs> um, Cynthia, I hope you find what you're looking for. And I wish you all the best and happiness that you deserve. Thank you for everything. Pinty, Pinty. <laughs> <laughs> that was the genesis of my troubles. <laughs> the beginning of my fall. And the starting point of my problems. <laughs> A foolish joke. To be a major problem in my life, I lost my way totally. It began innocently, but spread out of control. I, I can't help myself until I see that thing on that skate. <laughs> ah. The halo of worldly temptation. They can be corny adversary, you know? I didn't want to be distracted, but I lost focus. I, I lost myself completely. Oh. Hmm. You see, the mysteries of distractions are profound. John, in Ecclesiastes, it is written that for everything, there is a season and a time for every matter under the earth. Knowing when to say no is as vital as knowing when to say yes. Oh, oh I see. I, I should have said no at the right time. <laughs> but my desires cloud my judgment. Ah. <laughs> but the joy is this. The path of redemption is often paid with the lessons learned in a hard way. John, what destruction can cause can be so severe. In Proverbs, he said we should keep our hearts with all vigilance because out of it flows the spring of life. Destruction has the capacity to divert the spring of life from flowing in the intended path. <laughs> exactly. Exactly how I feel. I've been diverted from the right path. I, I don't want to go. <laughs> you see, John, the Bible also says that the eyes is the lamp of the body. So we should guide our heart. Because what they see as a way to shape what they see. I've been blinded for so long. I've lost my way. I've turned away from my destination. I want to redirect my way back. I rediscover my purpose. Please. You see, that is a very courageous thing. And that is the first step. You identifying your problem, sharing with the right people, then you have the solution. Now tell me, 
in your pursuit. Did any lady ever turn down your proposal? I think one out of 27. Perhaps that would be a sign from heaven to direct you. I believe it was. Fine girl. Babe. Babe, I hear the phone now. I hear the phone is okay. Fine girl. Yeah. What's up now? You know, you just made my day sweet with this your presence. Oh, great. <laughs> I don't have to speak up line. Wait, you guys never lend you. Come on, come on. Not what you thought. Yeah, I promise. You see, <laughs> this one is different. Ajay, you know, me too, you just like, why didn't they try at the end of the rainbow? Wait, <laughs> are you kidding me? A treasure. Seriously, wait, is that the best you've got? <sighs> come on, you don't need to be ash, you know, bring that high, come down. I just thought we could have this pleasant conversation. Mm. Yes. A pleasant conversation with you. Yeah. But you know, I have a number of guys like you and your pathetic attempts. Have a girl lost. Um, you know what, you know what? Can you go my love by here, please? Uh, my name is John. Can I have the honor of knowing your name? No uh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you know what? You're just like all others. A smooth sucker with no substance. Goodbye. Oh. I'm saying, what is Not up to that now. I love you. Ah. John, there are three possible ways out of this predicament. The first is to go and look for the manuscript. The manuscript? What does that have to do with anything? The truth! John, it is hidden in the unexpected places. This manuscript, it holds the truth. The manuscript I'm talking about contains the ancient wisdom and it may hold the keys to understanding your journey and finding the redemption that you seek. Hmm. You see, you cannot fight and overcome the battles of sexual lust with your strength alone. It's not possible. The weapons that you need to overcome this temptation is found in that old manuscript. Old manuscript? What are these weapons? You see, the old manuscript equips us with the powerful weapons to overcome the loss of the eyes and immorality. First, we have the shield of faith, which guides our hearts against unpure desires. Unwilling faith helps us to resist temptation. Shield of faith? Yeah. I need it. I need it. You see, the next is the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. John, you have to immerse yourself deeply into the volumes of this manuscript. Let it guide your thoughts and actions. The truth in this manuscript will illuminate your path. Honestly, I can't wait to go and look for it. Let's go and search for it. And finally, we have the breastplate of righteousness. You need to live a righteous life. You need to live with all goodness and integrity. Because this will protect your heart against corruption. Thank you. I have learned a lot today. Thank you. I'm deeply grateful. But remember, John, that with faith, the word of God, and righteousness as your hammer, 
We help you to resist any form of confusion. Oh. Eh, yes, the, the manuscript. Where is it hidden? <laughs> the manuscript is found in plain sight. Yes, we are only the few dear to search. Mm -hmm. The answers you are looking for will be closer than we can see. And at the same time, I am not fine. Why are you not fine? Why? One of the ways God do speak to me is through my dream. But ever since I've lost my sight, I can't, I can't, I, I don't dream again. But now, I slept, I dreamt, I woke up. I can't remember my dream. <laughs> John, in life we find ourselves torn between what we remember and what we forget. But remember this, that happiness is not found in the past or the future, but in this very moment. Let the joy of today overshadow the sorrow, the sadness of yesterday. May your heart find solace in the happiness of now. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Thou with faith the word of God and righteousness as your hammer, we help you to resist any form of temptation. Ah. The word of God and righteousness. I must remember this as my hammer. Makes my day sweet, you know, with this your presence. And what's this supposed to mean? Uh, I, I am sorry. I mean, you know, just like I find a cookie at the end of a bakery. A cookie? Are you for real? Are you, you must be out of your mind. Subscribe. So, the movie will be. Hi. Hi. It's like we've met before. Can you still remember? Yeah, I do. I won't keep you. Nice seeing you. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. oh. My name is John. Sorry, <laughs> can I have the privilege of knowing your name this time around? Oh, actually. <laughs> my name is Sarah, and I'm Emily. Nice meeting you. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, well, neighbor, <clears throat> Sarah just moved into this new place. Mm. 
Well, my friend and I are about going to the cinema. Do you mind joining us sometime? Yeah, that would be nice. Let's know where we plan to go. Hey, hey, hey. past regardless of the past excuse me sarah do you know his past well i have no idea but you know the first time we met he asked me out but i rejected it mm. i think he's just one of those guys who want to actually this uh oh sarah tell me how could you say something you're not sure about it might have changed no one knows. But all I know is that I have feelings for him. Ah, oh, he's so cute. <laughs> wait, wait, what do you know about feelings? What do you know about love? You have no idea of how I feel. Oh, uh, is it because you... Hey, hey, don't go there. I beg, let me eat my food in quick, Jerry. Even me, I'm eating my face. Lord. In this sacred moment, I offer myself as a vessel for the light. Fill me with knowledge and understanding that come only from your source, your divine source. And let your illumination guide me through the darkest time and reveal a way to implant a whole profound relationship with you, Lord. Help me, Father. Help me, help me, Jesus. I offer myself unto you.
God. They John? believed that God alone would take the responsibility of their of their freedom from addictions and sin. Why the last What's the problem? people are those people that are fully in God's capacity and also are you fine? Responsibility to play along with God to be totally free. Oh. What's the matter? You shouted so loud. Are you happy? Are you fine? I am fine. And I am fine, but... No, 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 no. It's, it's another way of saying that you're not fine. What's happening? This time around, I remembered my dream. But I was defeated. Mm. You see, your oil is not enough. But don't don't feel bad about it. At least for now. I defeated all the night, but all my effort to defeat their, their leader was abortive. Mm. I fell down, and all the night rose up again then try to strike me down but at least things are getting clearer it's, it's joy that you can remember your dream now as regards the hoy that i was talking about the anointing your anointing was not sufficient that was the reason why you were defeated. But the consolation is this. If the anointing fails, God's grace will never fail. Mm -hmm. God's mercy will never fail. You, you see, dream can hold powerful symbolism. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a positive sign now that you can remember your dream. That giant you saw will represent the struggles that you are facing. Mm. What do you mean, sir? Can dream have meaning? <laughs> Indeed, they can. You see, dream often reflects our innermost thoughts, fears, and desires. Mm. They can be messages from the subconscious. Offering insights into our lives. Hmm. But what could that giant symbolize? <laughs> that is a very good question. In the ancient scriptures, the giants often represent the challenges and the struggles we must overcome. Uh -huh. You see, your dreams might be telling you that you should be ready to confront the challenges that have held you back. Hmm. Now, I am ready to face that challenge. Because I don't want to be defeated again. Hmm. I am ready. That's the spirit, John. That's the spirit. You see, dreams can also be gifts from God. Hmm a way for him to communicate with us pay attention to them seek their meaning and you shall find the guidance wow. to your journey wow thank you sir for helping me to understand the mysteries of dreams ah now i will embrace them mm. and i will learn from them mm. ah. <sighs> Thank you, sir. This is good. There are some arrows in the air, shot by the devil. Hi, Jen. Hi, Amy. Yeah. How are you? Fine. Um, actually, 
I've been wanting to see you. Oh, well, uh, I've wanted to see you too. Maybe when I return. <laughs> really? Yeah. All right, no problem. Bye. Bye. Yeah. So they would not step into light. For we are part of an end time move. The days we become united and stronger in Christ. saving, conserving and protecting your resources. Do you not need to hold your morning oil possessions. You are a kingdom citizen and the king wants you trusting. John Joy. Ha! Yes, sir. Wow. Welcome sir. <laughs> this is beautiful. Okay. John. Yes sir. Yeah, so can you tell me what have you found? Okay. A path to salvation, a promise of renewal, and a prophecy of a collective awakening. Ah, ah, bravo. <laughs> bravo. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, you've come a long way in the path of redemption. Now, the last step for you to experience total freedom from your predicament is for you to go to the altar with everything and return with the fullness of God. The altar and return back home with fullness of God? <laughs> I don't understand. The altar holds deep mysteries. It's a place of surrender. It's a place where you lay down your body and allow God to transform you. Yes, I'm ready, but please, what happens at the altar? Mm. Very good question. At the altar, <laughs> you offer yourself, your struggles, your desires, and your brokenness unto God. You see, I call it a sacred exchange. Mm. You live behind the wicked of sin and depart with God's fullness of His mercy and of His love. Hmm. It sounds like a profound experience. Indeed, John. You see, at the altar, that is where the transformation occurs. Hmm. It is at that place that we become the vessel of grace. Ready to change the world anew. Hmm. Thank you, sir. I can just thank you enough. I am ready to go to the altar with everything and return home with the fullness of God. Very good. Remember that it is not the physical altar that we are talking about, mm -hmm. it is the sincerity of your heart that matters. The mysteries of the altar are revealed to those that seek in with humility and faith. The mysteries of the altar are only revealed to those who seek in 
<laughs> with humility and faith. That's it. Thank you, sir. I can't just thank you enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the path to redemption is strewn with stones, but the heart that seeks shall find a way. Hmm. God's instruction in the Old Testament with special attention to the book of Ruth. Hey, Jen. Hi, welcome. Thank you. Um, uh, yes, I went out to get something and I'm back. That's fine. <laughs> yes, what are you reading? Oh, it's an old manuscript. I found it in a church library. It okay. seems to hold some ancient wisdom. Okay. May I see it? Sure, of course. <laughs> um, wow, fascinating. It seems to have some aura of mystery in there. <laughs> Indeed, it has been so enlightening. Many hidden secrets have been revealed. Oh. Um, you know Sarah? Sarah? Yeah. <laughs> It's actually not her fault. She was a victim of rape. What? Yes. Raped? Mm hmm And that was done to her by her own father. Oh, God. No wonder. You know what? You're just like all others. A smooth sucker with no substance. But constant for the best. So she's yes. Yeah, she is. And that is the reason why she has this strong anger towards men. Like, she dislikes men a lot. Mm. Mm -hmm. I see. Um, I put close. Anyways, bye. It's fine. Are you not saying any other thing? No, it's fine. Bye bye. Uh, okay, bye. Thank you. <laughs> There are some arrows in the air Shot by the devil Aimed at the ones who are for Christ Cut. Some have been blindfolded for long Beaten and battered so they would not step into light For we are part of an end time move The days we become United and stronger in Christ There are afflictions left and right So we then pick All by God. 
lol I am but a broken version Yet You see a potential in my shattered pieces Um, Sarah, I have something for you. <coughs> this is a letter from John to you. John? Yeah. Dear Sarah, I hope this letter finds you well. I want you to know that my recent discovery hasn't changed the deep respect and admiration I have for you. We all have our struggles, our hidden battles that we fight silently. I want you to know that you are not alone in this. And I've come to understand that you all have our secrets and vulnerabilities. where we can find solace and redemption, the altar. It's a sacred place where we can lay down our bodies and find healing. I encourage you to come to the altar, Sarah, with all that you carry in your heart. He knows my secret. Listen, Sarah. I think John truly cares about you. I, I never expected this. The darkness within me be a canvas for your light. Paint, paint the path to redemption. Help me, Lord. Dear Mento, sir, I hope this letter finds you in good health. I want you to know that my recent discovery hasn't changed the deep respect and admiration I have for you. I understand that we all have our struggles, our hidden battles that we fight silently. I want you to know that you are not alone in this. You have been my mentor, guiding me on a path toward redemption, and I'm grateful for all you have done for me. Your wisdom, your kindness and your faith have touched my life profoundly. I have come to realize that we are all imperfect beings striving to find our way in this world. I won't pretend to understand the complexities of your struggles, but I want you to know that my heart aches for your pain. If there is one thing I've learned from our journey together, is that there is always hope for redemption, for renewal. I pray that you find the strength and support you need to face your own demons and emerge stronger on the other side. Ah, uh, he knows. He knows.
Some have been blindfolded for long, beaten and battered, so they would not step into the light. Where are you going to? To the altar. And you? To the altar, sir. Oh no! Let your brilliant truth shine upon my heart and my soul. Dispel every shadow of corruption, doubt, fear, and confusion that can block my vision and lead me into the brilliance of your wisdom. To learn from my mistakes and to grow in love. Help me to walk in the way of righteousness, to bear the fruit of repentance in my actions and words. Fill me with your strength to resist temptation and to walk. In accordance to your will. Everybody is going to the altar. I have walked in my shadows, <laughs> deceiving myself. But here, I lay my sins down, seeking to receive your grace, Father. I have hidden myself from the truth. Afraid of rejection, but today I choose honesty and love. We all carry different burdens, secrets that weigh us down. Let us release them and rise together. As we bow before your throne of grace with contract heart, seeking your divine presence, we acknowledge our transgressions and the weight of our sins, and we humbly ask for your forgiveness. We are longing to see your presence. We long to return to you, to experience your fullness of grace and mercy. We ask, O oh Lord, that you cleanse us of our sins, purify our hearts, and grant us strength to turn away from our old ways in your infinite mercy. We thank you for your hope and redemption, for your boundless love, and the promise of forgiveness through your Son, Jesus Christ. May we live each day in the light of your forgiveness and proclaiming your glory through our transformed life. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our imperfections are the cracks through which his light shines brightest. So we need to embrace our flaws for there is tools for redemption. We are not here as perfect beings, but the warriors of the Spirit. Hmm. Reclaiming our souls from the clutches of darkness. Hmm. In unity, we find strength. Confession, we find forgiveness. And in faith, we find redemption. Let's say this. 
Say, Lord, Lord, grant us courage to face our truth. Grant us the courage to face our truth. And the strength to fight our demons. The strength to conquer our demons. And the grace to walk in the path of righteousness. And the grace to walk in the path of righteousness. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Uh, I have a confession to make. But you've done that to God. Um, well, you see, Chen, I love you. <laughs> yes, I've been crushing on you ever since I set my eyes on you. And I don't think I can keep it to myself anymore. <laughs> you see, I, I really appreciate you for sharing your feelings with me. Love is a beautiful thing. It comes in diverse form. Do you get? You see, there is a love I have come to cherish so much. And this is the genuine love of Christ. But I don't understand, John. <laughs> you see, this genuine love of Christ, this is a love that transcends the fleeting feelings of the cross. It is selfless, sacrificial, and unwavering. This is a love that teaches us to put others before ourselves, to forgive and to serve. Uh, okay, but John, what do I do with these feelings? Like, I can't just help it. It is very important we acknowledge our feelings. In times like this, prayer is early. Seek guidance from the Lord. Ask for clarity and surrender your desires to his will. Okay. Thank you so much, John, for your wisdom. <laughs> I really appreciate it. <laughs> Remember, Emily, the path of faith may come with challenges. Okay. But it leads to a deeper, more meaningful love, a love that comes from Christ Jesus. Okay. You see, this love of Christ fills our hearts and guide our actions. In his love, we find fulfillment and purpose. It's very essential that we know this. Okay, do you understand? Yes, I do. God bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Have a lovely day. And you too. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle? Yeah. Um, what did you tell her? What you taught me? Okay, and which is to say no when ought to. Mm. My eyes are, are now opened. I found the way. Oh, wow. <laughs> I found the way, sir. <laughs> there are some arrows in the air, shot by the devil, aimed at the ones who are for Christ. Some have been blindfolded for long, beaten and battered, so they would not step into light. For we are part of an end time move. The days we become united and stronger in Christ. There are afflictions left and right So we then pick up our manual written all by God